Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough and I hope you'll be um, joining us and enjoy the ride. So here today, it's asking me if I'm a boy or a girl. I'm pretty sure I'm a boy. Okay. So this is the first intro and um, I'm pretty sure none of you know me yet. Um, I haven't done a lot of videos for you people. In fact, this is my first. So, just checking out the time now, it's 11 o'clock at night. <coughs> How many minutes? It's, um, I think it was 42. Yeah, I remember having this debate. As soon as I put it to 42 at the time, I changed to 43. So, yes. Yes, as I remember now, the time changed to 43 now, and that completely screwed me over, <laughs> made me look stupid. Okay, hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Sorry the writing's a little bit slow here, people. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Hey look, it's a little whooper. <laughs> it's a good Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by I don't know why I slowed this down so much. Supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some molest them. Um, no, scratch that. Some battle with them. It's back to Oak. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? I'm pretty sure I didn't give you my name yet, but um, it's Zephyr D. I'd imagine I called it Zephyr D. Yeah. Um, Zephyr D. Um, none of you know me, as I've already said before. I've already had one account on YouTube and that wasn't really that successful. So, um, I thought, alright, so let's get into the, st the hands of things and make some videos. And I'm mainly doing this walkthrough for Pokemon Crystal so that people who like Pokemon can watch it, watch it back and think, oh yeah. Um, and probably say what a twat he is commenting. <laughs> now, my adventure with Pokemon awaits, so let's go. So, all I'm going to be showing today in this episode is um, getting started, getting my first Pokemon, and just um, doing the first battle, and then um, that that's all I can afford to do in this video, seeing as it's run on for so long. Mom. Oh, Zephyr D, our neighbour, Prof. Alan was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Sorry the writing's a bit slow, people, but, uh, oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Zephyr D received Pokegear. Po 
Pokemon gear or just Poke gear. <coughs> it's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. I think this was a Friday night. Uh, yeah, it was because I had work in the morning. Yep, Friday. I had to be up at 6. And I stayed up doing this till about 12 o'clock. So yeah, you can imagine what I was like for work. It didn't go well. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Well, yes, I already know, but fuck it, you're gonna tell me anyway. Yep, here we go, see? <coughs> Jesus Christ, she's fucking me up my knowing. <laughs> Look at that bitch in the corner. Right, out of the house we go. <laughs> Look at fat ass. Yo, Zephyr D. I hear Professor Alm discovered something. Oh, some new Pokemon. Oh dear. I look retarded now. So now we have to slow walk to the uh, the professor's lab. And it just automatically drags you up here now. <coughs> oh, Zephyr D, there you are. I needed to ask you a favour. I'm conducting new Pokemon research. Right now, I was wondering if you could help me with it, Zephyr You see? Fuck now, I just nearly spilled a drink. Um, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. The video before I did this, I kept clicking no, and he never understood and made me say yes. But um, what happened to the first video was, um, after I'd finished filming and done all the recording, and while well, I tried to upload it onto YouTube, and just as I did, my laptop died. So, um... The video kind of got corrupt and I couldn't use it. So, yeah, sorry about that guys, it's going to take a bit longer. And I'm hoping to do at least one series every week. But, as none of you know this, but I'm running short on time now. With work and college all the time, six days a week, it's kind of difficult for me to do this. So. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. I think this is where he's on about the um, egg, yes, the Togepi egg. It is intriguing, but we are busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. Zephyr D, can you go in our place? I'm pretty sure you're going to fucking make me anyway again anyway, so yeah. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first trainer or partner, fuck's sake. But how can I if you've already caught it, Alm? Good question. Go on, pick one. Um, I'm pretty sure I started off with Cyndaquil. Yep. It's been a couple of days since I've done this, so yeah. <coughs> You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. Yes. I think that's a great Pokemon too. I didn't ask for your opinion, did I, Alm? So now we've received the Cyndaquil. 
I think we don't have a lot of time. Um, nope, four minutes. Given the nickname to Cyndaquil, I, I call it Flamey. Yes, I know I'm not exactly inventive, but I like to give Pokemon nicknames. It's really funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I stuck with Flamey. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Pedophile. Call me if anything comes up. Zephyr D got Alm's phone number. Sorry about the bit of silence there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. The one just in the top left corner. Feel free to use it any time. Okay. Zephyr D, I'm counting on you. Fucking hell, he makes it sound like a um, really depressing movie. Or it's just me sounding like an asshole. Zephyr I want you to have this for your errand. No, he gave me a potion. That can really help me at the minute. Seeing as you couldn't get one from the PC. Also, guys, I'm sorry that there's um, no music from the Pokemon game. Um, don't know what happened with that music either, but... I'll carry on doing some more tests and fiddling with all my settings to try and find out why it didn't um, upload any of my music from there. Uh... Right, now we're in Route 29. I can't remember much else from this part other than battling a Rattata. This is just the first step of our journey. And, um... <coughs> Yes, there we go, we just saw the Rattata wiggling its ass at us, but basically say I'm shit. But we'll teach this little bastard a thing or two. Go, Flamey. So we start off with a tackle. Makes some um, pretty short work of the Rattata here. Yep. He hits us back with a tackle. Does a little bit of damage, but nothing to worry about just yet. So I go ahead and use another tackle, seeing as it's the only move we have so far. And it's not, um, well, you know what I mean, it's not the best, but it'll do for the start. Rat Science is with another tackle, just sends us down to 13, just, just off, no, 4 HP from Yalo. Uh, so I finished this off with this last tackle, okay? Yep. I receive um, about halfway experience. 24, so that takes me about halfway. Yep, there we go, see? About just over halfway. And um, I think that's all we have time for today, is we're running a little bit over time, and I don't really want to exceed the YouTube limit so I'm going to save it here and end the recording and I hope you all join me for um, part 2 of the Pokemon Crystal walkthrough thumbs up guys if you like it thumbs down if you hate me and think I'm a prick um, yeah but so come back whenever and I'll see, I'll get to number two as quick as I can.